everyone, it's Carol here at Ocash Journals. Big warm welcome from me. I've got a quick video for you today and it's a flip through of this little journal that I've made. When you actually see this video, I will be on my holidays in Australia so this video is pre-recorded for you and whilst I'm in Australia I'm hoping to meet up with Leanne who is my lovely friend who lives in Australia. Now the reason that's relevant is because last year Leanne and I did a five item challenge and this is the little journal that I made using the items that Leanne sent. Now if you're new to a five item challenge basically it is that you swap five craft items with someone and you have to create something from only the five items that you were sent and return it to them. You are able to use things like the packaging and or some means of adhesion. So for example you can use glue, you can use um, machine stitching or thread, you can use staples to adhere your bits and bobs together. You just can't add extra pieces. For example, you can't add book pages if you wanted to use book pages. You just have to stick to the five items that you've been sent. So um, what did I get sent? Well, I will cover that with you in a moment when I start going through this. But in terms of the packaging, let me show you what I managed to use in my little journal here. So first of all, everything came in a white envelope like this through the post, and obviously it had my name and address on it. Um, there was some bubble wrap that everything was wrapped in. There were my five items that were inside a paper bag and wrapped in some brown tissue paper. There was also a brown envelope like this craft envelope with a note in it from Leanne. Um, that note was written on a sheet of cream A4 paper and the note from Leanne told me what my five items were that I was to make my journal from. There was also, um, as I said, the paper bag and inside the paper bag there was a tea bag, a paper clip and a Tim Holtz mini clip. Um, along with some string and those were additional items that she said I could use so she was being very kind and very generous and gave me some additional items to play with. Okay so this is my little journal this is the string that she sent me and in with those additional items that were in the paper bag was a little craft tag and on it she wrote that I could use those extra items and that's the little craft tag, her note is on the back. The brown here was the tissue paper that everything was wrapped in and the colour here or the paper here underneath the key is the reverse of the tissue paper. If I lift that up you can see so I've kind of layered it. I've just stitched around the tag and I've glued it to the front as my embellishment. This is my fabric. Now when the fabric arrived it looked like this, um, slightly heavier weight than this fabric and all I did was tear it roughly around the edges as you can see and I used tea and coffee to stain it, left it out on the work surface with some washers over the top of it so that it would rust and become grungy and uh, as you can see I've done some rough stitching around the outside. Now to create the cover for my journal I used the craft envelope and also the bubble wrap. So this, I'm not sure if you can hear it, has a bit of a texture to it. So the bubble wrap is sandwiched between the fabric and the craft envelope, which is this inside. And if I flip it over, you can see the seams there of the envelope. And there was just enough fabric for me to create this size journal with a couple of pockets here, front and back, and a few scraps. And you'll see there 
they will appear throughout the journal. So there's one here. This is a piece that was coffee dyed or tea dyed before I went in with the rusting. So this is the first part of that A4 sheet of paper with Leanne's note on it. She's saying here, Dear Carol, here are the five items for your challenge. A dictionary strip. Now that was a piece of craft card. And again, you'll see it throughout this little journal with dictionary definitions. And I've used a little bit just there on the front cover, as you can see. Tile prints, that was a small piece of paper about this size with four different coloured squares. Not really with any images on, just colours. And again, you'll see those as I go through the journal. Fabric, well, as you can see, that's akin to this. And I've used it on the front there. And a doily. And here it is coming into play for the first time. And a key charm. And that's on the front there. So she's saying, good luck, have fun but remember no pressure. <laughs> so to start off with, if you remember, I said that um, the few additional little items came in a bag and that's a portion of the paper bag that's ripped and everything was wrapped in tissue paper. So using a couple of layers, I made some little paper buttons and I've just used the thread from stitching all the way around to create that little tab there. So going over the page, I've used a little bit of dictionary text up there. Um, some of the main envelope, this main envelope, I used for my pages. I coffee dyed it and tried to get it to match with the remaining pieces of this paper that Leanne's note was written on. So you can see the flap is here. But some of it I pushed through my Big Shot machine and embossed it. It's not adding to in terms of adding extra materials, but it is kind of embellishing it, same as using the tea and coffee. Um, so I created a little tag here. This is the reverse tissue paper. This is some of the main envelope, some of the dictionary page stitched around it. Here's some of the fabric with a little bow. And if I flip it over, that's what it looks like on the back. And for this little tuck spot down here, this is part of my tea bag, as you can see, and just chopped it in half, turned over the edge and glued it and stitched, used a tiny scrap of the fabric, some of the tissue paper, and that's the dictionary page. And this is some of the paper bag. So that goes in there like that. I did a ruffle down here with some of the tissue paper with some of the dictionary page there and then this is just a piece of the paper bag but this is also a tuck spot as well if Leanne wants it to be. In honesty I ran out of paper and um, envelope that I could make tags with for all of the tuck spots and tuck spots sorry and pockets so there are some that are empty and this is one of them so there is a little tuck spot it's almost like a belly band but it's more of a tuck spot for for there and then this flips back I've done a little bit of a collage down the side here and this is a tuck spot there and this is again using some of the envelope that I've tea stained a little topper made with the fabric and more of the dictionary page and some of the embossed. And that's what it looks like on the reverse. All the pages I've stitched around with the, um, the black thread. Um, Leanne said she didn't mind if it was grungy, so I've gone with grungy. Done a little collage here with the doily and the bits and bobs. This flips up and, oh, there was, yes, in the extras, there was a small portion of this little, um, it's like a wool. So I use that for decoration down there. And then again, more collaging here. And this is the tag that goes into that pocket. And this is one of the tiles that I mentioned, the paper tiles. So as you can see, there's, apart from one, I think, there's no pictures on them, it's just color. So there's another one tucked in behind there, some of the paper bag, some of the um, embossed paper, and then some of the doily and that just goes up in there. There's a pocket down at the bottom here again with some more collaging using the fabric, the dictionary print, um, a little strip of black paper from the bottom of this bag and then again I've made another tag. This time I've used some of the tissue paper 
um, and just stitched round an oval shape on my sewing machine, peeled back the centre because I cut out the um, an oval out of the base tag so um, the, the tissue paper was glued over the top and then I stitched round it but um, once I stitched round it I could peel back the tissue paper to get these curled layers at the side. I used some of the machine stitch thread and one of the words from the dictionary strip with a scrap of fabric just to create a little uh, aperture there and then if I flip it over that's some of the um, paper from the paper bag and that just goes in that pocket if I flip over the page here's one of those paper tiles we've got a pocket here that I've just covered with some of the doily some black threads from my stitching uh, another one of those little buttons that I made out of the tissue paper and there's another one there um, and then as you can see that pocket is just stitched round. This is my centre so I've used some of the string to actually bind my journal with a three hole pamphlet stitch. This is uh, a little tag that I made using one of those tiles, some more of that thread and I tried to kind of create a uh, rough little flower or embellishment using it up up here. Um, there's a, another torn piece of those coloured tiles and as you can see I've used them there. Um, I've used a bit of this thread for part of the topper to do a little cross but I couldn't stitch with it. It was too um, knotty if you will and kept on catching so uh, I couldn't actually stitch with it which is a shame because I actually fancied stitching down the page using it um, and use it as an embellishment that way but it wouldn't work so in the end I ended up just having to, to glue it. So that's what that little tag looks like. Up here this is just a little kind of cluster of bits and bobs, there's one of the buttons. Um, the bow tied on this page is actually some of the threads that frayed from the actual um, fabric itself and I used that in places to add details and this was an easy one to create a little bit of um, embellishment by doing a bow up there and leave the threads dangling. Here's the doily, here's a snippet of the fabric. Um, I ripped off this tiny tiny portion right at the start to see how well it would rip and what the edging would look like. So this is an undyed piece so that was as the fabric was when it first arrived. Over the page um, again I've done a bit of a collage here so here's the tissue paper, here's the reverse, there's a bit of a dictionary strip bit there. If I hold that up you can probably see and then this is one of the collage um, tiles as you can see I've just wrapped it round. At the top here I've used some more of the paper bag and the word alter and then this is a little flip and again more collaging with some more of the dictionary strip top and bottom and I've used some of those pink fibres for this tag that's in the pocket so this is the reverse of the um, tissue paper the dictionary page a little portion of one of those um, tiles that I keep mentioning the creamy fibres in here are from the fabric and obviously you know what the pink fibres are. And then I made a hole reinforcer up here from a little portion or the other portion of this and just punched it with my cropper dial. So that's the hole reinforcer and that goes in that pocket up there. And of course this is made from the um, tea dyed um, envelope that was part of the packaging. So again, just a little bit of the paper bag there. For the corner down here, I used some of the tissue paper and then covered it over with the doily and glued the doily to the tissue paper to reinforce it. And that worked really well, actually. I'm pleased about that. Again, a little bit of that pink um, fiber. And then this is my card or my tag that goes in that pocket. And this is what the dictionary strip looked like. You can see there. I've used quite a big bit there. I felt as I was getting to this stage, I could use a little bit more. It's amazing how it makes you save every single scrap and eke out every little bit you can. So I've used that bit of dictionary strip there. There's my doily. And this is the paper clip that all those extra items in the bag had over the top. And of course that class as packaging so I could use it. And if I flip that over, you can see that's just the little tag and then here 
Using scraps, I created a belly band. So here's a strip of the fabric, strip of the doily. Here's some of the fibres from the um, fabric. There's some black fibres there from the stitching. There's another one of those little um, tissue paper buttons and then a little part of the dictionary strip that says embellish. Here's more of the dictionary strip and I've used a big bit to create a tag and that's the backing on this one as you can see if I flip it over so I've not introduced anything new there and all I did was use a bit of the backing um, from the dictionary strip flipped it over so that I've got another piece that would give some distinction from the background and then I've used this tiny little strip that says printed in Australia which I thought was quite fun to use and that came off the bottom of these little tile things that I keep on referring to and that was on, written along the bottom so I had to put that on so there we go that's my tag and again rather than make a button out of the tissue paper that I layered onto itself I actually created a couple of hole reinforcers so that just goes behind there I've got a side tuck here with more tissue paper more of the embossed paper um, a little bit of the bag, some fabric, one of the words from the dictionary strip, a whole reinforcer up here. And this is the grungy tag I created for that pocket. And this was the only one that had an image on. As I say, all the others were, were just colours really. So I've uh, laid up on here. And on the back, there is a little um, pocket. But I didn't... <laughs> I didn't have anything left over apart from this piece of um, paper from um, the original envelope to create anything with. So I've just popped it in there so that Leanne knows that it is a pocket. Um, up here, as I said, I've used some of the paper to create... Let me just straighten that up, sorry. Um, to create a, uh, a hole. I've used some of the fibres, one of those um, pieces of pink fibre here, I just unravelled a little bit to create a single piece and some of the fibres from the fabric to do a tie and then using the tissue paper or some scraps of the tissue paper I made a couple of little paper beads to act as dangles through that eyelet. Over the page, again, more of the tissue paper, the bottom of the paper bag, um, a little bit of the doily. Again, more of the doily here over the top of this tissue paper. Um, this is a little tiny scrap of the fabric that I roughly tied and glued on, um, tied it into a bow, as you can see. This lifts up and I've created a little pocket or a little envelope in here, um, but I haven't got anything in because didn't have anything left over and also let me show you so there is a little tuck spot up there as well so possibly some other bits and bobs could go in those at some stage here I just made a little cluster using if I unclip that this is the additional one of the additional pieces it was the little tiny mini Tim Holtz um, clip or bulldog clip and here I've used the top of the tea bag. If I flip it over, you can see. And this actually is a little, I can't get my fingers in there. It's actually a little, oh, maybe this side, there we go. It's actually a little tuck spot in, in here. Um, I've just put some lace over the top, bit of stitching, some of the tissue paper, a little number from, um, I think I found that at the bottom of the um, paper bag, might have been. Not sure where I found that from, um, but it certainly was within the stuff that um, Leanne sent me. Here's some more frayed fibres. Here's some embossed paper here. And then I've just put the little word or a tiny two from the dictionary strip there. So that's kind of a, a little clip on for some interest. And I've just left the uh, tail end of the tea bag or the top of the tea bag threads hanging loose for interest and then this is my back page and again I've used some of the doily to create a little tuck spot down in there there's a tiny scrap of the embossed paper a tiny little bit of the dictionary strip and I've just made a little tag used a tiny little scrap of the fabric tied it round with some of that pink fibre and a little bit of the doily that I clipped off here 
So that goes in that pocket. And then here, just more of the fabric um, pocket with a little bit more of the, um, the doily attached. This is glued down, it's not a tuck spot, but I didn't think it needed it because there's a big tuck, tuck spot there. So as you can see, there's loads of places <laughs> that I didn't manage to fill, but um, there's still room for Leanne to add a few more bits and bobs if she wants to. So there we go, everybody. That's my little five item challenge. I think Leanne was exceedingly kind to me when she sent the bits and bobs for me to, to use, certainly with the extra little bag of goodies to include things like the string so that I could have a, a closure and actually to have some string to, to do a binding for the journal. Um, what else came with that? Oh, the, the little tiny mini um, Tim Holtz clip and the paper clip and also the tea bag were my extra items. So yes, she was exceedingly generous. So I hope Leanne likes this little journal. Um, by the time you see this, I will certainly know whether she likes it or not. So thank you so much everybody for watching. It'll soon be time for me to come home, unfortunately. So I'll see you soon everybody. Take care until then. Bye bye now.